in this video we will learn how to answer metric based question for google maps the question is how would you measure the success of google maps as usual we will clarify our understanding of google maps and show our strategic thinking so google maps is a digital map which helps you to explore the world evaluate and then finally navigate to the destination here we have broken down into explore evaluate and navigate how we have done that take an example of yourself you search for some place correct after that you evaluate the place via opening hours or closing hours busyness of the place rating reviews etc etc right then finally you navigate to that place another important thing is to tell to the interviewer as to how google maps vision is in line with the vision of google google's vision is to organize information and make it accessible to everyone correct google maps is organize the geo information and, and making it accessible to everyone google maps is also dynamic see how much changes are happening day by day and google maps update it very quickly so here we have clarified our understanding of google maps to the interviewer and shown our strategic thinking wherever possible now to identify the success metric we need to first think about the different stakeholder and then measure the value they are getting from the google map why it is important because not star metric of a product is the representation of the core value delivered by the product so there are four different stakeholders or you can say four different customer segment one is individual users but there can be different type of individual users right like daily commuters who are more focused on the navigation second can be tourists who are more focused on the exploration of the place third is drivers they are more focused on the easy navigation and the fuel efficient route right fourth can be pedestrian or cyclist who are more focused on cycling or walking paths and finally the user seeking for the accessibility path right see how we have broken down the user segment into the persona the next time you are getting a question on the google map you will be able to utilize these personas the second customer segment can be local businesses who wants to be discoverable on google maps the third can be enterprises and developers who want to integrate google maps into their system they want a lot of functionality with apis finally the government who are seeking data from google maps for better planning of the city and the traffic these are the broad segment who are using google maps but what is the core of the value which everyone is seeking from the google map that is helping users explore and navigate easily this is one of the core value that google maps is delivering to all their stakeholders now that we know what is the core value of the google map what about the north star metric what metric represent the core value of google map if you think monthly active users or mau it should not be because it is not telling you the depth of the activity being performed on the google maps although it is a good metric but should not be my north star metric if you think number of successful navigation it is also a good metric but not the north star metric because it is very narrow it is only focusing on the navigation part how about number of successful sessions per month here successful sessions means either navigation success or the exploration success wait for a few minutes and it will be very clear if you are finding value till now please like the video and subscribe to our channel you can also join our channel there are lot of premium video of answering the tough interview question based on the metrics strategy you also have premium courses on strategy ai generative ai so you can think of joining our channel now back to the question so our north star metric is the number of successful sessions per month right that is monthly successful session let's break it down into l0 levels it would be monthly active users multiplied by session per users multiplied by session success rate what is the session success rate it is percentage session having successful exploration or successful navigation don't worry you will get a sense of session success rate in a next one or two minutes here the first term is telling you to the acquisition side of the thing the second term telling you the engagement what is the depth of the session and the final one is the conversion that is quality of the session now breaking it down further into l1 metric we will track new user acquisition or user growth rate user churn and resurrection rate we will also see the stickiness of the platform for this we can track dao by mao or wow by mao both will tell you the user stickiness on the platform for the sessions per user we will see the depth of the session that is what is the session length number of navigations per session 
number of searches per section, right? This will tell you the depth of the session. Finally, the most important one, which is telling the quality of the session. We will track two things here, exploration success rate or navigation success rate. For exploration success rate, we will measure what is the search CTR, like how many people who are searching on the place are actually finding it. Also, if they are able to find it, is it correct place or not? For that, we will see a proxy of whether you have saved the place, shared the place or started direction after searching it, right? This will show how accurate the information is there on the Google Maps. Why it is important? Because imagine you have searched for something and you clicked on to the search getting a result. But after that, you realize that it is not the correct place or the incorrect mapping is there. Then you will not do anything and will again fire the search. This is exploration failure. So what is exploration success? If you have searched for certain place, you find the right place. So what you will do? Either you will start navigating, you will save the place, you will share with the friends, you will see the rating and reviews of that place. That is exploration success. Similarly, for the navigation success, you will see the metric that is on time arrival. If Google map is showing you the right path, have the right traffic information, in that case, you will arrive on time, correct? So we will measure ETA accuracy. Another can be direction abandonment rate. This will also be one of my key metric. So now what is the session success rate? The session in which if you are having a successful exploration or successful navigation, that means if you are searching, you are getting the correct result or you are navigating, then you are having on time arrival, pretty much accurate ETA. I hope you are able to get this. This is how you have to plot the narrative for any metric based question. We recently launched our course Cracking PM Interview using first principle thinking. This will take you to the top 1% of the candidate. Lot of candidates are already getting benefited from this. Please find the link in the description box. Because gone are those days when you were just reciting the framework and getting a PM job. Now you have to think from the first principle. That is why this course is very different from the courses that are available in the market. Some other metrics we will see is the user's NPS user's contribution per day because this contribution is the backbone of the Google map, real time update and the accuracy. So you can find our new cohort in the resources in the link below to crack any PM interview. I will meet you into the next one. Till then keep learning and keep watching.